Hey Leo. What's up? Welcome to Black Madonna HP Table Etiquette. So uh, when I was getting into your energy for you and this person, I heard horses and carriages. And I'm like, horses and carriages? Are we back in the 19, what, the 1800s? But then I thought about it. I'm like, okay, well, maybe we talk about traffic, moving, babies, um, things like that. But let's go ahead and get into this energy. See why you're getting horses and carriages. You know, maybe somebody want to talk. Maybe the horses are like the knight's energy and stuff like that. But let's see what's up. Beloved, what's going on with Leo? What does Leo need to know, please? What's the vibe for Leo and this person? Thank you. Ooh. The distorted feminine. Oh, wow. A divine masculine. And worthiness. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay, let's, let's talk about this for a moment. And this is, this is like, um, let me try to get this center, but this is like no disrespect to anyone. But we have a distorted feminine and a divine masculine here, which if it was divine masculine, divine feminine, perfect pair. But the distorted feminine, somebody's not seeing the world in the way they should. They may feel unworthy since it is a um, feminine energy here. But it seems as if this person you're dealing with, Leo, is the shit, okay? How many times do we find divine masculines, like people that are high vibrational, that are, um, that are rich in character, um, loyal, respectful, honest, like, just having these beautiful qualities because... A lot of times, so many of us find these distorted masculines, distorted feminines, right? And I'm not saying that you are a distorted feminine if you're a feminine coming to this reading, but this is their energy and how they are seeing this situation. Um, you could have been through some recent challenges. Maybe, maybe you've been in a sunken place or... You're in a sunken place or something like that. Maybe you're just not seeing the situation correctly. You could have been stressing over this connection as well. But let's go ahead and clarify this energy before I dig too deep into it. Beloved, what is going on with Leo and their person? The Eight of Cups wants to jump out. Why do I feel an energy of leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back? But I feel like this distorted feminine is wanting to walk away from this connection for some reason. Something they're not seeing clearly. But let's see what's up. Alrighty. So we have... The Empress, the Four of Cups, we have the Chariot, and the Three of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands, and the King of Swords. Horses and carriages, and the Chariot comes out. Right? Horses and carriages and the empress come out. So, it's a strong energy here of the first thing I'm getting is like moving, repositioning, resitu resituation. <laughs> we'll see if that's a word, but this chariot energy for this divine masculine I feel like and I'm just going to be honest they have 
options. And I'm not saying that they're having sex with their option, but they're talking to their option or anything like this. But I'm looking at the synchronicities of the two card. You see the divine masculine, right? And you have a horse, two horses. One's light, one's dark, right? On different sides of this chariot. You see the divine masculine, two women on different sides. So this divine masculine has, and why wouldn't he? He's a divine masculine. The divine masculine can be just she or he, take it how the energy applies. But a choice, having to choose which direction to go. I don't know why when I said horse and carriages, I didn't think about the chariot right away. So you could be dealing with a cancer, Leo. But um, choosing a direction, because this person is being led, right? Someone's not paying this person attention. The other person is. And that's the person that he's paying attention to. I'm going to say that this is the light person. This is the dark person. So it could be like a, a divine feminine, a distorted feminine type energy. So this distorted. Fi oh, here we go. Lord have mercy. So if this is the fine feminine, this is the distorted feminine, then the distorted feminine is someone who's showing up as this empress, someone that may be pregnant by this person, or this distorted feminine is someone who, like, has these beautiful qualities, but unfortunately, the qualities are in reverse at this time. Take it how it applies. Maybe they're not seeing the world in the way they once did. You see all this beauty back here? Horses and carriages. Like, why do I feel like whoever is on this chariot is coming in to this person, but they're not gonna see it because they're focused on the blah things in life, but they got something coming towards them that's beautiful. This empress, whoever it is, like I said, she could be pregnant or like she's not seeing something correctly for some reason. The, she's not seeing herself in the way she should. And I feel like this is why the distorted feminine is showing up because for some reason, like she doesn't feel worthy. What she sees isn't what she gets, she feels like. Here we go again. Light and dark. And whoever this is, whoever doesn't feel worthy in this relationship, is because they've chosen the darkness or the karmic or what you barely hear me talk about, but the synchronicities are crazy. I can go so deep into it, I just... I just don't have the time to. But someone is choosing or making a choice between two, whether you know it or not. Here's this world with this empress. This, um, whoever this distorted feminine is has made their choice. They're sticking to it. They're not gonna like revert back but this divine masculine is wondering about this feminine really deeply this divine masculine got off that chariot got off that stoop and humbled themselves for this connection you could be dealing with the air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this is a person that's very concerned about this feminine. The energy I'm picking up. It's like. The way he's. Looking at her. The synchronicities. The um, the fire. 
the ice. They're on two different trajectories. But he's focused in on this feminine. So he could have also made his choice as well. But let me continue on because, yeah. Let's see what else you need to know about this person, Leo. What else does Leo need to know about this person, please? What else? What else does Leo need to know about this person, please? What else does Leo need to know about this person? Thank you so much in advance, beloved. What else does Leo need to know about this person, please? Soulmate wanted to flip over. So this is your soulmate. Wisdom. Balance. Acceptance. And workaholic. The masculine knows you're their soulmate. They're concerned because they see you either A, being in this energy, or having to deal with this energy. But they definitely see you as the one for them, Leo. Everything within them is telling them their intuition, their heart, like everything is telling them that you are their person, right? And that's why I say they're concerned for whoever this empress is. They're, they've made their choice, okay? This person could be, um, could be putting all their time, energy into whatever type of work they do, whether they're an entrepreneur, they work at a job, a business leader. It's like this is their distraction. This is their getaway because other than that, they're kind of focused in on, on you and kind of concerned, worry about you for whatever reason, okay? But there needs to be some type of balance here. You guys aren't get along at this time. Why is everybody pissed off but the person holding the scales? So there's some type of, um, some, this could be the issue too. Like if this distorted feminine and it doesn't realize they're a distorted feminine, this is the energy that's gonna stay like in your connection. I'm not sure who this third person is. It feels like that 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 other that dark horse energy. But everybody's man, nobody's happy in this connection. And that's why beloved is getting ready to come in, Leo, and show you what you need to see if this is you and this distorted feminine energy so the soulmate connection can continue. Because something about it, you're not being wise about it, you might mess it up because it's a divine masculine. It's not It's not a distorted. He's a divine masculine. This is one that's a keeper, baby. You want to keep this one, okay? Maybe that's what you need to do, accept it. You know... Maybe you feel like it's too much work with her having on this uniform. But you're being advised that this is the one that's worth the, the work. It's worth like the time, energy, and patience. This one is worth it, Leo. Okay? I'm here worth their weight in gold. Oh, snap. Alrighty. So let's see the possible zodiac signs you're dealing with, Leo. Then we'll get some messages from your person. And your Zaltair Speaks message, and we'll close out the reading. What's the possible zodiac sign that Leo's dealing with, please? Possible zodiac sign, please. Thank you. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sagittarius. A Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio. Okay. So, since we got a divine masculine here, should I do the twin flames preparing for union? 
Nope. I'm gonna do my Urban Divine Masculine um, Truth Deck and see what this masculine wants you to know. What does Leo person want them to know, please? What does Leo person want them to know, please? Thank you. So they're ready to stop hiding from you. So they've been hidden from you. I'm not sure if while they've been hidden from you because here go a lion here. So I don't know, but he got his armor up and that lion's standing there. So I don't know if this person really been like um, hiding themselves or you hiding their feelings or their emotions, but they're ready to stop hiding whatever that is, okay? And if it's not you, Leo, they don't want anyone else. Like I said, I feel like they made their choice and they have, okay? I'm single, getting ready for you, my divine feminine. This person is ready for a divine feminine. Somebody got to do their work, I'm telling you. This divine masculine, the way this person is coming in or the way this person is coming back, is not to play games, is what I'm getting. Yeah, they've been doing the work. I've been working on my relationship with God. God been leading and guiding this person. Horses and carriages. That's why they don't have control of these horses. God has been, like, guiding the horses, okay? And then I'm torn. I don't recognize the man they be I've become. Yeah, because they're totally different from how you last remember them. They've been working on themselves, Leo. Okay. So uh, let me get you a Zoltar Speaks and we'll close out this reading. I'm going to let you interpret your own fortune, Leo. So let's see. May I get one message for Leo, please? One message for Leo, please. Thank you. And this is how your card looks. And it says, I see a great deal of happiness in store for you. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened happiness never decreased by being shared so if an object you ardently pursue brings little happiness when gained remember most of our pleasures come from unexpected sources share the good news when it arrives for happiness is like a sunbeam which the least shadow shall intercepts while suffering is often as the rain of spring Enjoy this very day. Your lucky numbers are 24, 39, 21, 12, 31, and 4. Okay, Leo. So that's the message I have for you, beloved. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. And until next time, love. Love. Peace. And so take care.